hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to add localization to a react native app and change the app's language but before we proceed take a moment to subscribe to my channel it's absolutely free now without further delay let's dive right in first let's create a new project Now our project is created. Let's open it in VS Code. Here you can find some instruction to run the app on Android and iOS. Additionally, if you wish to open your project in Xcode, you can use this command. Now let's run the app on iOS. Start the metro server. Alright, our app is running successfully in simulator. Now let's install some libraries. Search for React IAT next. Open up this link. Copy it and install using npm or yarn. So here you can see we need to write our localized text like so. Let's open the documentation. Now we need one more library. So let's add another one. Search for IIT next. Open it up. Now install it as well. Alright, now install pod and run the app again. By the way, these libraries don't require installing pod, so we can skip it. Now, meanwhile, remove unwanted code from here. Create a view component here. Inside it, add a text component and write hello to verify that the app works fine. Alright, it works. Now add a source folder, src, inside it add an iatnn folder, inside iatnn add an iatnn.config.ts file, alright. In the iatnn.config.ts file import iatnnext and also import init react iatnnext. Now add a resource object. Inside it, add an English and French language translation resources. Alright. Add a translation folder and inside it, add English and French translation JSON files. Here add some key value pair for translation. Add an index file and export them as well. Save it and then import it into config file. Alright. 
now in the config file add iit next dot use and pass init react iit next then dot init and here we need to pass some configuration accordingly you can open the documentation or refer to this blog so we don't need this language detector copy this entire config and paste it over here here we have a resources object for it so just replace it with r so you can see both key and value names are identical so we can specify it like so and it is pointing to this constant all right here we are using debug key which is used for getting iit logs on the console we can check what type of data we have and when we change the object gets updated you can also make it to false to hide all the console log the language used in fallback lng is for cases when the translation in the user's language is not available we are using lng as em or english so we are overriding the language detection all right now export this file Let's go ahead and import it in index file. All right. Now let's add some dummy translation for these keys to verify the language changes. Open up the app.tsx file and change this text and let's make the text translatable. Add const t equal use translation and import it from React IIT M. Alright, here write t and add translation key over here, which is grid. You can see text is visible correctly, which we have written in en.json file. Now let's change it. For that we need to trigger a function let's create a button import touchable opacity and add text inside it add on press prop and pass change language function inside it all right let's create the change language function here add iitn and over here add iitn dot change language and pass the language code which is fr yeah you can see the language change from English to our new dummy language. You can add a check like so if i18n dot language is equal to en or English, then you can set it to fr, else set it to en or English. Save it and let's test it. Yeah, it works fine. You can see in the log we got an error. You can remove it by adding this. Open up the config file and add compatibility JSON and pass v3 over here. Save it. Yeah, now the error is gone. In the log, you can see the currently selected language. Here you can see for React, the interpolation is not needed, so we can remove it. Alright. So guys, I have created an expense tracking app UI and added translation for it. Here you can see I have created two extra translation JSON files in the end branch. Alright, let's open up the app. Here you can see our basic UI with some expenses items. Let's change the language. Open settings. From here you can select your desired language. Boom, you can see the language has changed. All the English text converted into Hindi. Of course, name won't change, they are user defined, which remains the same. Alright, now let's change the language to French. Yeah, it has also changed. Now let's test the app in Android as well. Let's run using this command, yarn Android.
Now go to settings and change the language. Yeah, it works fine. Here's a bonus tip for obtaining translation effortlessly. You can utilize ChatGPT. You can provide your English translation object and ask for the equivalent Hindi, French or any other language you prefer. And it will provide you something like this. That's it, thanks for watching and for more such type of video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in next one. Till then, take care and bye bye.